Hello, welcome back to Statman Dave Clips. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Declan Rice and why the whole of Europe is looking at the England central midfielder. Where should he go? What's his strengths? What his weaknesses? We'll answer that all right now on Statman Dave Clips. If you are new, make sure you smack that subscribe button. And of course, like that goddamn video. Jesse Lingard potentially going to West Ham United. Declan Rice going the other way to Manchester United. It is an interesting one to see how that would work both ways. Obviously, Declan Rice is a supreme footballer. He's been brilliant for West Ham United in the Premier League. You know, you think performances uh, in recent weeks against Manchester United, Declan Rice was absolutely superb uh, in a defensive sense and in a sort of possession-based sense. Um, you know, looking at the stats from the game, um, you know, we've got a lot of tackles in there, three out of three tackles, one from Declan Rice, uh, but also looking from his interceptions, two interceptions in the game um, and two blocks, three blocks, should I say, uh, in and around the penalty area, blocking those long range shots. I think Declan Rice is a brilliant footballer. I think one of the things that he's improved himself uh, this year, not only has been his passing, um, but his ball carrying has improved, uh, but less in this game than we kind of expect. I think it's more his his passing range has really kind of improved and, you know, really moved on from a sense 59 out of his 62 passes completed. And the big reports, obviously, is that United are interested in Declan Rice. That came out of The Athletic yesterday. Um, and, uh, you know, it's looking at what United could do. Declan Rice probably valued at around maybe 40, 50 million quid, maybe 60 million quid by West Ham United. You think Declan Rice is valued by United around 20 million. So you're looking at that as a, you know, as a price point. So you're looking at how much United have to spend. You know, you, you, you go with Jesse, you go with some some cash, 40 million plus uh, plus the plus Jesse. Be a pretty decent deal, I think, for United. Um and I do think when you you know you you compare Declan Rice's season on season, I feel like he's improved. And I think that's a great attribute to have as a footballer, is to have that improvement, to continually get better. It's something that we saw with a few United players, Michael Carrick, you know, the likes of Darren Fletcher in central midfield that would season after season would get better. And we could see that in his statistics, you know, um, for West Ham in the Premier League, you know, we compare his season, let's say the 1920 season, his first sort of season as a Premier League starter, uh, the 1819 season. Heat map, very, very good, up and down the pitch. Started 34 games, scored two goals, uh, zero assists. But we're looking at around 30, 40 passes per game, about 57 touches, um, but defensively very good. The big thing with Declan Rice defensively is absolutely spot on. Why he'd work for Man United is because he could be that defensive linchpin, the number six that sits in front of the defence and um, beats people in the tackle. 2.9 tackles per game, nearly three tackles per game, very impressive. 1.5 interceptions. Uh, dribbles in this season, 0.8, uh, 76% completion rate. But let's take a look the season after. So 2019-2020, heat map comparison from the season previously. Slightly deeper, I'd probably say he's advanced up the pitch a little bit in that in that aspect. Again, 38 games played. One of the reasons why you buy someone like Declan Rice is because he's Premier League proven that he can play. Why Harry Maguire has been good for United is because consistently he plays every week. And that's something. So Declan Rice, looking at his numbers, his passes have gone up per game on this season. And his, uh, uh, his touches have gone up. But also his assists. More assists. Three assists this season. I think the first the season we looked at was... Uh, was zero, but also looking at his accurate long balls, that numbers have gone up. Big thing, tackles and interception numbers gone up. Gone up to five tackles or 5.1 tackles plus interceptions per game. His dribbles gone up 75%, but it's 1.3 dribbles per game. We're seeing an improvement here. We're seeing a general improvement of Declan Rice. Sofa score 6.99. This season, his sofa score's gone over seven, which is good for a defensive midfielder. Um, 29 games played, of course, he's out injured now. But look at more touches per game, 60 touches per game, 42 passes per match as well, which has gone up. More uh, chances, more key passes per game. The interception numbers have uh, have continued. The tackles have gone down a little bit. Uh, triples have gone down, but at higher success rate. But I think it's we're seeing a better, more mature Declan Rice this season, and he's been absolutely wonderful. And we can see his performances against Manchester United, as we previously looked at. Very dominant heat map in a defensive position, but also a ball carrying position. Seen his game against Leeds, very, very good there. Good performance against Tottenham. Uh, winning four tackles in that one. 
Um, so it's one of these things where we're looking at Declan Rice and we're seeing a general improvement. But good performances against good sides, I think that is an indicator of a top player that you can jump in and go, okay, let's have a look at his his performances against you know Manchester United in the game where they, they lost 3-1 one of the best players on the pitch. 60 touches of the ball, completed 96% of his passes, four out of four accurate long balls, showing his range and how that's improving, but also two tackles, two interceptions, one clearance. Declan Rice is a phenom. Man United should go out there. If, if the Hammers, if West Ham are interested in Jesse Lingard, you know, what's best for Jesse right now is for him to play football in his career. And I feel like you could use him as, as a lightweight uh, to go to West Ham United. Jesse goes one way, uh, and of course, Declan goes the other way. And I think that midfield, you know, we're looking at Manchester United's midfield and how that could look next season. I think it is a move to a, to a one holding midfielder. Uh, I think that's kind of where United should should be looking to go. Uh, you know, we talk about transfers. We talk about how United can move on. Uh, we'll take a quick look at what potentially United could do uh, in an attacking sense. So, so the big thing with with a, with getting Declan Rice into a defensive midfield position, I think it frees up a number of uh, number of different things. So with United and how how they, they they could be building and moving forward is a bit of a you know is a bit of a four three three. So we're looking four three three. Declan Rice enables this in defensive midfield. Declan Rice enables it with his ball playing and his ball recoveries. His, his passing's got a lot better. His work in a defensive sense to go and cover the cover the fullbacks and you know when the ball is lost you know doubling up in the transition to go out there something that Fabinho's done so well for Liverpool that's the type of player Declan Rice could be for Manchester United it would allow them potentially to play a midfield of Pogba Bruno and Donny Donny is playing as this sort of second striker false nine um, Marcus one side Mason the other alternatively if you want to throw another forward in there uh, you know you want to throw a um, a mad next season we'll get more game time throw Mason through the middle uh, you know, you've got another setup, another 4 3 3 that looks good. Again, Declan Rice allows that. Alternatively, you want to go 4 2 3 1. You want to play Declan Rice and Paul Pogba. Declan Rice basically plays against the, with a box to box midfielder in Thomas Suchek, who's the second top scoring midfielder behind Bruno Fernandes in the Premier League. So he allows that freedom of uh, his midfield partner to play box to box, which would allow Manchester United to play 4 2 3 1. Pogba could be that attacking element of that midfield. Uh, you know, we talk about. Rashford either playing wide or narrow or, you know, the, the when United have got the ball with a mad playing wide right, very much an inverted winger, Bruno could come inside right channel, Pogba could come inside left uh, and Declan could basically move to defensive midfield. United could play slightly inverted um, with a back three. We saw a little bit of this um, in recent weeks, a little bit of a three, two, four, one shape and Declan Rice would enable all of this good stuff. Guys, get into the chat. Would you take Declan Rice at Manchester United? Let me know. Thanks for checking out our profile of Declan Rice. If you want to check out more of this content, come over to Twitch every Monday, Thursday and Friday for a whole lot more fun. Of course, smack that like button. Let's get this party started and hit subscribe. See you in the next one.